What's up, everyone? My name is Anthony. You know me as Anthony's World. We are here in the Trader Society podcast. I'm with uh, my host over here, Mr. Derek Vandy. What's up, everybody? Yes, and we have the man, the myth, the legend, the fucking dude of all dudes, Mr. Q Banks. How you doing? Good, he was good. I'm doing lovely. Man, I appreciate you coming on the podcast, man. This is going to be epic. It's going to be good. We're going to talk a lot about trading and just just life and trading and what it is to be a trader. Of course. But while you're at this, please do not forget to subscribe. Also, go ahead and like this button. Share it with your friends because people need to be motivated. Yes, hit the subscribe (laughs) all the way. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a podcast, a reel, anything along those lines. And make sure you go check out our website at TraderSociety.com and on Instagram, TraderSocietyOfficial. And let's roll with it. Let's get it. Hey, how are you living, brother? I'm lovely, man. Lovely. You know, living at the best of my ability right now. You man, know? I love <laughs> that Growing shit. every day. Growing every day, you know? I love it. How you, how you liking out being in Scottsdale? Um, you know, I have a thing for, for, for Arizona overall. You know what I'm saying? Like, the weather is perfect. I love the cactuses, the whole history of, of a cactus. Like, just, <laughs> it just, like, like satisfy me just knowing that like the history of them you know what i'm saying the houses yeah. are, are beautiful like you know it's good people it's good food like it's a vibe out here you know it's a vibe out here it's very very different you know like i, yeah. I see no kind of palm trees so this man came different. out here last time <laughs> this man came out here very last different. time and taught me like 30 different facts about cactuses bro, and bro, i was like the fuck do, do you, you know do you know the facts i do not know the facts okay here. it takes about i think like 18 years for a cactus to grow like 10 feet the saguaros Huh? The the big saguaros? Is that the, the type of cactus you're talking about? I have no idea. But, <laughs> but a cactus, Some type of cactus. A cactus with arms, they're about easily like 100 years old plus type shit. You it's know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And did you know if oh the cactus God. dies and you like try to take it off the, the road or wherever yeah. it is, it's like a $50,000 fine here. I, homie, really? you, you have to take it off? It. Yes. You have to leave you it. You have to leave it. Bro, see, it's fascinating to even know about that kind of shit. Like, what? Like, come on, bro. That's like, fucking dope. Yeah. Like, we could care less about palm trees in, in Florida. <laughs> you know, like, whatever. It's dope. It's dope. <laughs> so let's jump right into this since we are a trading podcast. This is Trader Society. And um, I'm going to share a little bit real quick so you can know what we're trying to create. I'm going to let Derek share his point as well as Definitely. what we're trying to create. But <clears throat> in reality, what we're trying to create is... I mean, it's in the name, a society of traders. Correct. You know, I mean, shit, let's be the Illuminati of the trading hood. <laughs> you know what I'm Working saying? We're way up right now. You know? um, but like, no, in all honesty, we want to just create a podcast, give free value, help people learn, help people grow, but then also show them like our knowledge and teach them our knowledge. But then what really Trader Society is about is creating a community and a group of people that are learning, evolving and growing and yeah. changing the industry for the better. I feel like that's our purpose o- overall. Like we have a lot more experience than, you know, a, a lot of people that's coming into the niche. So like to even just give back our our knowledge and experience like that's gonna, that's helping the new generation of traders, you know, overall. So like we have to do that. Like cause that's, we have to. That's our purpose. Yeah. This Absolutely. podcast is part of our purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because we're giving back that value. I which love is, that. I what's love we're that. supposed to be doing you know i love that yeah. what is your vision right now honestly i mean you we obviously talked about it in the car right up here but my vision is honestly just like how many people can i impact the way that trading's impact my life and change my life like all of us started out trading or some sort of you know thing yeah. that's obviously helped us grow to Correct. the extent that we're growing and you know everyone's a different trader like yeah. i don't really necessarily know how you trade but yeah. i know that you kill it good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so like that's part of trader society like there's different ways to trade and everyone can succeed at it but it doesn't happen overnight definitely not um even like when it comes to the whole um exposure factor of trading overall you know what i'm saying like it's it's really cool when i run into people every other day like yo bro like you changed my fucking life yo cute bro you changed my fucking life bro like, like i have people at times like i'm in my car like they'll chase me down and roll down their windows and like give me a shot like yo bro like you, you changed my life blah blah like i appreciate you this and that this and that that's what is the best feeling like that's the most fulfilling feeling i feel like you know what i'm saying Absolutely. yeah it, it kind of like shows you that what you're doing is has a purpose you know what i'm saying like oh, what yeah what you're doing is changing an, another person's life in a, a way that you can't even imagine you know what i'm saying facts they could have been in a messed up spot and now you just Help them out without even knowing that. Even motivation you know? and inspiration and yeah, just the just ability like, to have the ability to actually even have the opportunity to learn or grow. Correct. Correct. It's fucking dope. Yeah. And Trading is so cool in that aspect. Yeah. And, and it's not like they're learning from a person that's like, you know, out of touch with what's really going on at this point in time with cryptos and like this digital period, like this yeah. digital money, 
um, the way on how we actually see the concept of making money is a lot different than how it used to be. Like we understand like what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So actually to, to give that same kind of inspiration to other people, you're opening their minds to a whole different realm. Right. We're not we're not the rich old white guy sitting in a fucking nah, corner hitting a button. Exactly, exactly. Like you we're, know? we're very, very active. We want to live at the best of our our ability and our skill set actually gives us that opportunity. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. So what if you had any have you what are your goals in trading in the next I'm gonna say next this year. What are your goals with trading this year? I feel like like when it comes to trading overall, like I consider it just like extra money. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if I have a project that I'm working on, I want trading to be what's funding that. You know what I'm saying? It's extra mm-hmm. shit, you know? Um I hate touching bank account money. Yeah. You know, like is it just me? No. No, no it's not like, you. Like when the money's in my bank account, stay there. Don't move. <laughs> you know, like don't move. The money that's over here that's working, that's trading money, like I could blow two, three hundred thousand and not really care about it because that's trading money. It's extra money, I feel like, you know? That's the mindset. Yeah. That is a mindset that people have to have and people have shifted. Yeah. I've told people all the time, as soon as money hits your trading account, that's gone. Run it up. <laughs> Run that Listen, shit up. Let, let, let's work, you know? Yes. Yeah. Put it to work for you. And if not, if it doesn't make you money, at least let it teach you a lesson. Exactly, exactly. And and like it's cool because it gives us an opportunity to Say like, yo, if this shit grows to so and so, let's fucking go. If you lose a little bit, eh, whatever. I'm not hurting, but at the same time, like, it'll be cool if it actually has the opportunity to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's why I feel like whenever kind of money is inside your trading account, it's money to play with. It's play money, you know. And and when we have the opportunity to grow that money to an ex- exponential amount, it gives us the opportunity to now get our skill set better, but also gives us an opportunity to level up. But if we do get a, a little hit from that. It's not going to hurt us at the same time. You know what I'm saying? By yeah. the same time, it gave us an opportunity to even grow that money. It gave that opportunity a chance. It gave that that money a chance to to, to be better. Yeah. You know? I don't want to like put it straight to the bank account and now it has no room to grow and that kind of it's stuff. It's actually losing no. money in the bank account. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So play over here just a little bit. Let's see what you got on uh, money. You know what I'm saying? Like take this two, three hundred thousand dollars and let's play around a little bit. Like let's see what we could do. You know? I love that. Before I it actually that. goes to the bank account. I know? love that. Yeah. One of the I craziest things is like I think I met you two or three years ago yeah. and like you had a very strong mindset now and like this is the first time we've been on a podcast. This, yeah, 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 plus, and, yeah. And even talked in a little while, yeah. like as far as face to face. And like seeing your mindset now is like absolutely like unbelievable to me. Yeah. Like the way that you've grown, strengthened your mindset even more is like it's crazy. It's it's cool to see. Yeah. I feel like it's just bro, it's being around people that also have strong minds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And being in different um environments um that you have to have a strong mind you know what i'm saying it could be business it could be trading it could be almost anything you have to pretty much walk into the room and say to yourself like yo i own this shit yeah. you know what i'm saying like have that kind of mindset like very very like um confident with how you go alpha. about things alpha alpha as fuck you know what i'm saying like you're confident with how you, you're going about everything you know what i'm saying and trading is the same concept you have to, to, to like walk or get on your computer and own that shit. Absolutely. No type of doubt in your mind. And that's what, that alone is going to grow your trading account. That's going to grow your, your skill set. That's, that's going to grow every single thing that you're about like when it comes to trading and business. Period. Now, do you think that's easier as you actually like grow? Like, obviously, you have an empire around yeah. you. And do you feel that like maybe five years ago, obviously in a different situation than you are now, do you yeah. feel like as you're growing, it's easier to walk into a room and be like, of I'm, course. Yeah. I feel like, yo, like, I mean, y'all, y'all even know it's like if we had a big day, like let's say we just made 50K today, $100,000 today, the rest of the day is going to be fucking great. I'm walking into <laughs> every room like, yo, listen, like Bags. I want to talk to this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, and like not have any kind of doubt in my mind. So I feel like um, like as you, you, you're growing, the confidence and everything comes along with that as well. You know, like this is a part of it, I feel like, you know, because it's it's kind of like feeding your ego in, in a sense, but not at the same time. Like it's not like you're getting out of touch with re- reality, but at the same time it's, it's growing your ego to the point that you're, you're, you're walking with your chest high and not with your head down and shit. Definitely. You know, I love that. Yeah. Man. So mean, the mindset is like the most important key. thing. It is. Yeah, man, it it, is. it's key. And I, that's like one thing I've learned, in, you know, just been around you all the time is just like, like you have to have that confidence of yeah. like, like this is it. And it's taught me a lot to be like, yeah. all right, like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. And it kind of shows <laughs> like, remember, other people can see if you're confident or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it, frequency. It's a frequency. Like, um, if a person is like walking in a room with their head down, like, you know, you could tell, like, yo, like 
like, what's wrong with that dude? Like, <laughs> you probably got n- nothing going on, that kind of stuff. But if y'all walk inside a room, head high, ch- chest out, you know what I'm saying? Just m- mind sharp, eyes focused on where y- you're trying to go. A person's going to want to approach you like, yo, like, hey, bro, like, what do you do? You know, like, right, facts. period. Like, they're going to just, like, actually, like, yo, like, what do you do? Versus the person that just is walking with, with their head down. Like, nobody's going to really approach them and ask them, like, what they do because they don't really give off that energy to say, like, you know, invite those new people in, you know? I love it. It doesn't really work. I love it. So what, okay, as, as, as far as trading, like, um, when it comes to trading and stuff right yeah. now, you know, I know we, we've seen you have your multiple 100K days, multiple, yeah. multiple 100K days. Are you going for that uh that seven figure? <clears throat> bro, like I came so close. And <laughs> you already know how it goes, bro. Like um I've had a million dollar week once. That was like about maybe like seven months ago or so. A million dollar week. But when it comes to like a million dollar trade, I feel like bro, it's so much pressure. Because it's bro. it's so heavy on the account. It's um unless you have 10, 20 million in there, yeah. you're not yeah. like in But but to even be in at times drawdown, like I mean Bro. And Anthony can attest to this as well. Yes. Two, $200,000 in drawdown is not fun. No. It's not fun. So if you're trying to make a million dollars, like, you got to be okay with, with losing at least, like, 400000 at times. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's it's one of those things. So I feel like I'm it not- It comes with time. It, it comes with time. I'm not pressuring it. I I, I damn well know it will come eventually. Yes. And I, I have full confidence that I will have that million dollar trade eventually. But I don't feel as if, like, it's something that I'm chasing, like, right now because- I don't want to, you know, chase something that I'm not re- like ready for mentally. It, could, you know? it will come when it, I'm It'll in the come. same boat as you. Come. Like, I haven't had a $100,000 day yet. Yeah. Like, everyone around me, they have these $100,000 days, and I'm like, dude. Like, so I'm in the same boat of, like, okay, I'm not going to pressure myself and yeah. force something stupid yeah. and just let it happen when it happens. It'll but come, I'm going to work for it. And you're working towards it. Yeah. As long as you're working towards something greater than where you currently are, it'll eventually happen. You know Uh what I'm saying? But you have to put in the work. You can't just like, let's say, sit down and all all of a sudden think it's going to happen just out of nowhere. No, like, get better at your craft every single day. Know that you have to pretty much leverage your account a tad bit every single time that you make more money. That's the big thing also. Like, if if you just made, let's say, 10% more on on your account or even 30% more on your account, you should at least be open to risking a little bit more, a little bit more, on that next trade because now you have a little bit more cushion in your account you know the more cushion i have in my account the more i'm open to taking a little extra risk because th- that that's cushion like i'm not really stressing that like if i'm over like my initial balance that's all cushion yeah and i'm open to to risk it because my initial balance is all the way down here you know what i'm saying yeah so if it's if it's now let's say a 50k deposit and i have 60k in um positive equity above my initial deposit i'm open to even losing thirty thousand dollars or even the forty thousand dollars because at the same time like it's not touching like my initial deposit and i don't care about that money because it's not money that came out of my pocket it's extra money i feel like i i always consider trading money extra money and that's a mindset honestly that's a mindset i think most people should have and traders should have because so many people are like oh i gotta rely on trading i gotta do i gotta flip this $50 Fifty dollar account to yeah. five thousand before Friday, or I'm gonna lose my house. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> that pressure's dude. Tough. How many times have you gotten those messages, bro? I get it like every other day. And, and, like. and same. And it's always an, am- an amateur trader that. And you're that just like, really bro, like it. you were gonna figure it out before. You're gonna figure it out again. Yeah. And like that's probably not really the case. Like you were good before you started doing this. Like why? Yeah. Like, like why are you making this like your only option now? You know, like yeah, like exactly. On. And so it's like there's a there's a a skill set that comes into having that mind. Yeah. So if you could teach anyone, what is it that you did or would you recommend or how to work on your mind to get that mindset to elevate? I feel like as you're starting, like coming out, starting to trade, you have to have an income source. It yep. could be working. It could be a side business. We said it, that all the time. It could be something, but you have to have money coming in um, one way and then your trading account is going a different way. Like you, you can't solely depend on your trading account to fund your entire life until you actually start making a lot of fluff. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of fluff is that extra money that I was talking about, that cushion, like a lot of cushion, you know? Yes. But at first, you have to have an, in- an income source and you have to have that trading money at the same time. So like when I started Love trading that. at first, like um, I was still working at Target, you know? So like I was still making like my couple hundred dollars at Target, but at the same time, like I know that like, yo, if I fuck up th- um, this account, cool. I probably can't trade for like, for like about two weeks. I'll probably have like around $500 to throw in my account and then, 
that's what it is. Like, I, I have no uh, other option, you know? Yes, yes. Yes, I had Wall Street Academy and, and that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, that's another income source. I had had my my job. I had a Wall Street Academy and some affiliate stuff that I was doing also. So, like, I had a couple sources of income. So, like, if I fucked up my trading money, cool. I could just grind out for a couple weeks, refund, and try it again. Until it pretty much came to a point that I had a huge ass day and then I have a, a lot of extra fluffs. So, like... Big fluffs came from like when I had did the one thousand to like seventy four thousand in a week trading XRP. That's what seventy three thousand dollars in fluff. You know what I'm saying? Um, and other times that I I grew like massive amounts of money in trading. That's all fluff money. So now I could fuck up some money and not really care about it. But at the same time, at least I know that I'm taking a risk to pretty much get to that next level in trading. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you're yeah. a risk taker, bro. I'm. Come on, bro. Well, obviously. I'm all for well, it. I meant I'm like, all for it. Oh, shit. I'm all for oh, it. I'm all for I it. meant like you're a risk taker in trading. You're a risky trader. I Not like, that. like, no, no, like, no. like, like, like you are willing to risk. He's willing to risk the fluff. Listen, hold on. First of all, get the dab like down. Right. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be smooth. Okay, so. Um, We're white, damn it. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not scared to lose. I'm not scared to lose. But at the same time, like. Is I, it because you trust yourself or because you just don't care? Like, now um, they don't care or you just don't have that fear? I feel like I... Because that's a very important question. I'm confident in myself to the point that I know that I could achieve whatever I put m- my mind to, you know? Yeah, it's the mindset. But it's like this, like... And he, he said it here. Everything is, and anything that you yeah, want. Everything is also a risk to reward in trading as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's that's a very, very important fact, okay? Mm-hmm. So, like, even, like, whenever I'm trading US 30 now, right? Point fifties, I'm risking $5,000 each and every time. If I have three back-to-back losses, that one win that I... I take can make up all those past losses plus a little bit more profit. That's good risk to reward. So I'm risking five thousand dollars, five thousand five k. Um, I normally go like one to three. So like that one trade, fifteen k. All those past losses are already made up. If the trade keeps on going good, I probably make like about twenty twenty k or twenty five k on that one trade. I have those losses made back up plus a little bit of extra fluff inside the account. You know what I'm saying? Versus actually risking a huge amount. To the point, it takes me like four or five trades to actually make up that that um back to back losses. I can have one trade that makes up multiple losses and call it a day. That's great risk to reward. So like that alone, like I feel like is a big aspect of knowing like that you could actually, you know, go about your trading journey and then risk like whatever you're gonna risk, but knowing that you that that one trade that you could take is gonna make up the past the past losses plus more and not really stress you out. You know, if you have a terrible risk to reward. That's when everything goes down the drain. No stop loss, <sighs> shit goes left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit goes real left. You can have that mental stop loss at times, but trust me, I've I've took huge hits, negative four hundred thousand dollars, and that kind of shit. Like just having that mental stop loss mentality. Like oh, like if, if it hits here, I'm gonna get out. That's fucking it's spikes. A, it's a lot harder to click the button with your finger than to let it automatically close you out. Exactly. And I and I yeah. agree a hundred percent. Exactly. I don't trade with a stop loss. Yeah. But I'm also like if I hedge. If you're on the computer, yeah. If you're hedging or if you're on the computer, you're you have a lot more control versus a person that pretty much has no stop loss and is not on the computer. Facts. If you're on your your phone the entire time, you could be on your phone for a little bit. All of a sudden, you're doing this. Blah, 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 check. You, you, Check the phone again. You have a huge ass spike. All of a sudden, it's in a complete negative. You have no control over that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're on the computer, you're watching. You're active. You have the opportunity to, to press X at any at any time. And mind you, the X button is so simple to press, but the most hardest thing to press. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because you could press it and settle, or press it and miss out. You know, like it's so, it's so many things that come yep. that come apart of pressing when that it comes that fucking X button. You know, yeah. like. But at the same time, like it's like something that you gotta develop over time to know, like yo, like if you press this button, you could now be a little bit more inside your account, a little bit more inside your account, a little bit more inside your account. So what would what, what kind of advice would you give to the expert trader? I can't give because like, expert gonna, trader. Why not? Because I was gonna ask that is be, <laughs> not like an expert trader, but like like if you had to give it any advice on like like something that would help a like the only reason I ask that is everyone asks. What would you give advice for a beginning trader? This is, um, what would you give advice okay. to a trader that's been successfully trading for a while, but like, you know, wants to get better? Wants okay. to get better. The trader that has been trading for a while, you better be fucking living like you're fucking making money. You know what I'm saying? You can't be making, let's say, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a month and everything, and it's like living like you're mediocre. I feel like you know what I'm saying? Like, enjoy the fucking money. 
and enjoy the money. So what you're know? saying is that if you're not living like you're enjoying the money, you're probably not making the money if you're not living exactly, like you're enjoying it. Exactly, exactly. You know, like, it's probably, like, some sort of overhead there. You know, like, it's probably, like, an investor. You know, like, it's, it's probably something that's not your money as to why you can't spend it like how you spend it. You know what I'm saying? If you're making money, you're going to spend money. Simple it bleeds. Na- it bleeds. Naturally, yeah, yes, it na- bleeds. Naturally, your taste gets a little bit more expensive. Always. Like, you know, like, damn, like... Yeah, we're not going to Applebee's to eat a steak tonight. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but at the same time, that comes naturally without you even noticing it. Like, you know what? Like, I could buy this. It's not going to hurt me. Whatever. You know, like, and your taste naturally grows a bit more, more expensive. More and more and more yeah. and more and, and more. Na- Listen, there's nothing wrong with wanting more expensive things. No. Stop making people think... Stop making, stop making people make you feel as if it's wrong to want better. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, to, to want... Something that has a lot more it's quality to it, and that kind of thing. Like, nah, like fuck that. Like, the world is here for us to enjoy. To enjoy. Like, why wouldn't you? Y- you're at an age that pretty much so much is going on inside the world and everything. You have so much access to everything. If you're trading in, you're making money. That enjoy gives it. you access to more resources and everything like that. Take advantage of it. It's you not. Know? What the thing I was gonna say? It's not. Um, damn, I just had it. It's it's not wrong to be successful. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. And 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 I want to make that point very clear because it's something I battled with for a very long time. Is like you felt guilty or felt bad for being fucking successful. Yeah. It's not wrong to be successful. It's not want wrong to want better. It's not wrong to build. Because if you were helping those people that are trying to like that kind of making you <clears> feel bad, if you were helping them, they'd be cool with it. Exactly. But until you're because you're not necessarily yeah. maybe helping them. They're not going to care. But they're going to try and make you feel bad. That's why I make sure, you know, and you make sure, and then you make sure also that you guys are putting in your value in the community. So as you're flexing or as you're going about how you're you're spending your money and that kind of stuff, you don't feel bad about it because the same thing that you did to get to where you are, you're showing people how to do it also. Fact. You know what I'm saying? I love like, that. I love that. Like, why feel wrong for it? Like, it's not like you're holding everything in and not telling everybody. No, you're telling everybody exactly what you do and how, and how to get there. But now it's not on you anymore. And now it's on them to actually be able to put in that work like how you did to get to where you want it to be. Now, now the other person has full resources and that kind of stuff to, to, to get to where they want to be, you know? So as you're spending that kind of stuff and enjoying your life, going on trips, spending time with the family, all these things, you, you don't feel wrong because you're giving all these other people that's following you and supporting you the full access to do the same exact thing as well. You know? We're giving people the blueprint. Literally. This is our question. blueprint. This is the question I have for you. What's up? So you've made courses, obviously. Of course. You, yeah, yeah. Do you think when you make your courses, it makes you better? Um, Yes, because it, it refines how I understand my um, methodology. Yes. You know? And I said this the other day. Like, there's some people that trade good and teach terrible. There's some people that teach terrible and trade good. Um, I try to do both, and I've proven many, many times that I'm a good trader and I'm a good teacher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a very, very hard concept to actually grasp and, and time to actually put in, but once you're pretty much good at, at both concepts, that means that you fully, 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 and did I say fully? <laughs> fully have the um, concept of your methodology. You understand your methodology from inside and out. And then once you have that, I feel like that's what is making you the the, the better trader. That is is making you giving you the um opportunity to elevate your skill set by far because you understand yourself and you understand how how you go about things, how you risk, how you leverage, how you do all these things like when it comes to your trading account. That's one thing I I recommend everyone like honestly, if you're a trader, build a course on how you trade. Yeah, I think it will. But be, be good first. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. That's step one. Yes. Be good at your craft first before you make the course. Like yes. be, be good enough. To be able to teach other people. Yes. Do not be the person that, that don't make a bad name for No, us. I'm not even saying sell it. I'm saying just do it for yourself. But a person is never going to make a course just for themselves. That's the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot, a lot of times people are, are going to make a course to sell and make money because that's stream of income. But make sure that before you take time to actually create a course and that kind of stuff, which is not wrong at all because mm-hmm. fuck it. Like, wh- why not? You know, like it's, it's, it's a resource. Like, why not be able to give back to the other people and everything? Just be good at your craft first because a course takes time. Mm-hmm. It takes effort. Now you're taking your time out to help other people. That time that you're taking out to help other people, you could have helped yourself. So just make sure that, you, that, that you're good enough first before you take time out of growing yourself to help other people. For sure. And then once, I saw that. You know what I'm saying? Like once you're good enough, then you can pretty much like take some time off of focusing on you to focus on others. 
but don't focus on others before you focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, grow yourself first. It's kind of like if you're on, if you're on an airplane, all of a sudden it's going down, God forbid, right? Um, put on your face mask b- before you help others. That's what they say. Yep. Mm-hmm. How can you help others when you don't have on your face mask? You know, you're then you're helping them, but now you you can't really help yourself. Help yourself first, then you help others. And you that know, is, that that's definitely something that I'm learning from you guys because I like to be the person that likes to help other people before myself. Can't. And I have learned literally in the past month, like I have to take care of me first yeah. before I can actually take care of everyone else because that's yeah. been my downfall this, this whole time. I'm trying to take care of other people when I don't even have my shit fully figured out. Not bro. People can wait. Yes. <laughs> people can wait. They're going to wait before they're going to wait now. They're always going to wait. Like when it comes to family, same concept, bro. Yeah. Like before, all right, put it this way. Um, like somebody had gave me a, a good, um, analogy that they're saying, you can't give the bricks that you're taking to build your house away too early b- before you even have your house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's taken away from building your house. Build your house first. And then after that's done, then you can pretty much help other people. You know? Yeah. Family, same concept. Work on yourself first and then you could be able to help your family for the, for the rest of your entire life. Mm-hmm. But you can't help you, your family in the building process because that's slowing you down. Focus exactly. on yourself. You have to be selfish a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In you know, order to be successful, you have to be selfish. Bro, yeah, like um, I'm I, not saying like don't be selfish and like, selfish is not a no, bad you just term. Have, you just have to take it's, care of yourself. It's self love, yeah. bro. It's, yeah. it's self love. It's self love, and um, it it even took like my family a certain amount of time to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like when I was coming up and that kind of stuff, making some decent money and that kind of stuff, like I couldn't reach out like how I could now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I could help out and not hurt. Mm-hmm. Back then, if I helped, I'm hurting. You know make me get good to the point that I could help and not hurt and then I'll feel good about myself. But if I'm get, if I'm giving my bricks away while I'm building, I'm not going to have anything. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You got to be selfish a little bit. One whole house is better than two half houses. Boom. Now you have no roof. You got no roof. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying it's no the roof, truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Because, you know, so that's that's one thing I believe in. So I get this stigma a lot and like I've always been the person it's like I'm sitting here like damn like this about making a course and shit it's like I I should make a course I know I should bro I just don't listen. because I don't want to no but that's fine but at the same time don't feel wrong if you do you know but if you have time in your day and you have time like about well, I don't really have time I'll help you bro I'll yeah. help you. you know I will I have, don't have time if you have a couple weeks to spare and to like put well, together I'm about to go on a long trip I might just go on, I might just make one no nah, okay. nah, you're on a long well no, nah, you're on va- like vacation kind of. Well, yeah, no, but I'll we're work. working. We we're, always work, true. bro. Come on but it's now. Like, if you have time and you're already good at what at what you do, it's not wrong if you do make a course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you have time and you're already good at what you do. So at the same time, like you taking time to to like put together your methodology, cool. And plus, remember, like call I said, method. it. I might as well call it, it the method. It refines. That shit's fucking wicked. You, that is you, dope. You heard it. You heard it here first. I might name <laughs> my <laughs> my course. The method. the method. Bro, I owe him royalty rights to the name. <laughs> it's funny because they the have method. like a, a cleaner bot, like a, a cleaner, like a house cleaner and everything called Method. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty dope. It's simple. Do you, do you have it? I do have it. I was going to say, you probably you have everything. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it natural, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like it's it's a, it's a dope concept because I feel like it's a, so, such a simple name, but it says a lot, you know? Oh, it does. So, um, yeah, like don't feel wrong if you want to make a course, bro. Fuck it. Whatever. Not at all. What is your, what is your saying to people like that say well you make all your money off courses you make all your money off all this other shit i i want to tell you my take on this real quick does a real people that are in real estate does a fix and flipper like they fix and flip houses yeah do they only fix and flip houses or do they own rental properties airbnbs all these other things i feel like they own everything they do it all correct right yeah we're traders Mm -hmm. do we only trade why does just trading like if we're like oh we're just traders but only trading. Why does that make us that? No, it started two, us. No, but to actually bounce off of that r- real quick before you finish, if it's like it's crazy to think, right? If a person is making money, all their fucking money off trading, right? You got the houses, you got the cars, you got this, you got this, you got this. I'm give me a fucking prize then, yeah. because if I'm doing all this off of selling this, you're a fucking legend. Because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you're buying a million dollar houses. Million, millions plus in cars and that kind of stuff off of just a course, you're a fucking goat. Like, what, what are you doing marketing wise to sell that much? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. But it's like, look how much li- like liability and inconsistent income that creates as well. 
You know what I'm saying? So if a person would want to go about that and, and actually spend all of their trading income or uh, like their course income on houses and cars and this and that, this and that, this and that, that could stop at any point. Mm -hmm. Is that smart? No. Not at all. But if that was the case, that man is a fucking goat. Like, uh, what the hell? He's you know? a salesman out of this world. We he, all need he, to learn he, from him. He's a fucking salesman out of this fucking world. And in that, in that case, he needs, to he needs to create a course on being a salesman. <laughs> exactly. So, like, I think about it on both parts and everything else. But at the same time, like, bro, that's... And Derek, that has been... Like, once you start making money in trading, bro, that's always going to be a thing. And if you have a platform that people learn from, that's going to always be a thing. That's going to always be in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? You're like, do you... Oh, do you make all your money from um classes and everything? Are you fucking dumb? You know what I'm saying? Like, just you look at people like, bro, like, is that really what you're asking me like, like right now? Like, do you think everything's fake? Do you think everything's fake? Every, right. Everything is just like. That's why I met that post the other day where I said, oh, I'm still renting the Ferrari. And yeah. The, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like you know, I remember I, they were like, oh, you're renting the Ferrari McLaren. I'm like, yep, I'm paying about five grand a day in rental fees. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you Do you think the person that actually owns that is going to be like, oh, no, dude, you can have it for free? Yo, listen. People, people ask the most dumbest questions sometimes, right? right? They want uh, an excuse. A, a person came up to me the, the other day, right? I'm in a piece of the at fucking five guys, right? He comes up to the window like, yo, Q, what's going on, bro? Yo, um, I got a question, man. Like, um, is your course worth it? <laughs> bro, I'm sitting in a fucking Ferrari. <laughs> I, and I told him, I'm, Derek, I'm very, very blunt. I'm like, yo, bro, okay. Don't ever, ever, ever ask a person that. You know what I'm saying? Pro tip. Don't ever ask a person of status in in any kind of way, in any niche. Does this r really work? Like, that's disrespectful, bro. Don't be, don't come up to me disrespectful, ask me like, yo, like, is that real? Right. Is that, is that real money? I'm going to look at you dumb. Like, are you fucking dumb? Like, it, am I just bored? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, am I that bored to post everything fake? Am I, am I on Photoshop every single day just um, changing colors to blue and and putting in numbers? And do you think I have that much time in my day to just fake every single thing? Bro, that's the craziest part to you know me, what I'm too. It's like, it's, like, it's like, how do you fake that shit? But the, I don't get that. How do you fucking fake it? But the biggest thing, Anthony, like, bro, if you are studying something, eventually you will become good at it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But look, um, I'm not too sure if it could just be the persona. You know what I'm saying? They see tattoos, like they see this, they see, they see you living how the fuck you want to live. You know what I'm saying? You have tattoos, like blah, blah, blah. You have watches, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not how a trader looks. Most traders that I know, they're off of social media. I hate that. Are you fucking dumb? This is 2022. We live however we want to fucking live. We show however we want to show. We do what we want. When it comes to being a trader, they don't look any kind of way. They don't dress any kind of way. They don't drive so and so, they could do anything that they fucking want to do because they want to do it. Yeah. Dress, looks, being a trader means that you get to express how you, you are. really want to live. Yeah. How you look, how you dress, how you act, how you um travel, how you experience life overall. You That's... you experience that on your own terms because now you're a trader because money is not even the option. The, um, the option. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not even like the issue anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like a it's, byproduct. It's a byproduct. Being a trader means that there are no restrictions on anything. Appearance, looks, how you speak, nothing. Why? Because shit's being made regardless of the fact. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And the numbers that you're doing are unfathomable to some people. And then they think less of that. They think it's fake and that kind of stuff. Like, yo, are you fucking dumb? Because if you were making this kind of money too, then you would see like where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, get, I get, dude, I get that. Yeah. I get that. You photoshopped your profits and I'm like, bro. Ask Loverboy. <laughs> no. I can't even edit don't, a damn picture on Instagram. Don't even give them that much time, He gives bro. me the filter to put on on Instagram. Nah, I listen. can't even, I don't even know where the damn filter is. I'll be like, yo, yeah, you, you right. You right. Everything's fake. Yep. Everything. House, cars, everything's leased. Yep. I, I own nothing. You're exactly right. Facts. But you're on my page, though. <laughs> you know what I'm right? saying? Still clicking that link you're, in the bio. You're following me. I, I'm not following you. Keep that in mind. Yep. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so even like when it comes to Instagram, remember, like all these people that pretty much talk less or down on you, like they'll they'll never see you in person and have that same energy. No, they don't. They'll like, yo, oh shit, Derek, what, what's going on, bro? What's good, bro? I'm like, yo, Andy, what's going on? It's never. It's never that it's, same energy. It's never bro. that same energy ever. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
I don't even take it. Because it's way different anymore. when you see a picture of someone on Instagram next to a car than when they pull up next to you in a fucking Ferrari. Yeah. It's like, they're like, oh shit. Like, oh, okay, well, this car is actually real. And guess what? They'll, they'll, <laughs> and that energy when you step out of the car is different, bro. If, and if they're following you, guess what? This car is still going to be here in like, in like about a couple months. Yep. And still here. If it's not and this one, it's a new too. one. And, and a new one, it's gonna. It's only additions. It's no yep. s- subtraction like when it comes to certain things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only addition. Like, if you, this car is here, oh yeah. Oh, the, hey. this. Th- this you know new the, car? That's top tier shit, baby. Top tier shit, baby. <laughs> top tier shit, <laughs> Listen, baby. Oh shit! You have a new car? Oh, did you sell your old car? Nope, it's at the house. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Only additions, like no subtractions. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like Facts. that alone is unfathomable for a lot of people. You know? Because, Can't change that. Because some people like they they save up for years and years and years and years and years and years and years to buy one car. We 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 buy that shit from a great week, a great month, <laughs> a great week or, or a great month. Because Facts. I feel like. The access that we have, like, bro, we're living a GTA life. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a simulation. Yeah, <laughs> you know I couldn't think for a second. I guess I was like, oh no, shit, like, my brain. No, but at the same time, like, we we have a cheat code. We have a blueprint to do whatever we want to do. The cheat code to pretty much experience life on however we want to experience that shit. You know what I'm saying? And we show that blueprint. So never feel wrong of living that never that way on how you want to live. You know? Well, let's keep growing it. Let's keep showing it. Let's yeah. keep making things happen. That's it. But with that being said, man, I appreciate you coming on the Trader Society like podcast. Bro. Listen, I've been dying to come on here, bro. I, I, hey. I've, been, I've been watching. I've been seeing it. You know, I, I, love, I love the movement. You know? We're getting there, man. Yeah. We're, we're coming out with all kinds of shit, man. We have a lot of merch coming. Just want to let you guys know we have Trader Society hats coming. We have personal hats with Trader Society embroidered on the side. And I need everything. I got you, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> I got, I got you. you we're going to have hoodies coming. We have journals coming. We have notebooks. We have uh, placemats uh, for your mouse. Yeah. On your, and we have flags coming. We have literally the whole house every, furnished yeah the whole house furnished Yo, i will put a fucking couch in your house <laughs> if you want it now on the real though we have everything that a trader needs to help them grow and we're going to build a huge community that just is just full of traders yeah. um we want to keep this podcast going so please support us by liking commenting and also subscribing yeah. turn on the notification bell and share this with your friends it really helps the algorithm it helps us grow so we can keep having people on this podcast like you because unfortunately, we have to pay him a lot of money to just get on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm charging a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the real though, man. I appreciate you coming out, man. It's such a pleasure. Oh, shit. Bro, come on. Bro, I, I got to reach across the table, man. Go, go to the gym, bro. Shit, man. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I got, I got, I, I got shit I got to do. I got shit I got to do, man. I don't have time, man. Yo, I'm, listen, I'm not like, living your life this yet. This office is huge. <laughs> we can have like a little gym in the back, that kind of stuff. Get, get Facts. Little, you know, like, why not? Yo, know? we should put a gym, man. We really should have. <laughs> We've been talking about it. We've been hey. talking about it. <laughs> I love it. With that being said, please also follow us on Instagram. We have what is your Instagram? At QBanks. That's no underscore nothing like that. Nope. Oh, okay. At QBanks. It'll be in the description below. C U E B N K S. Hey, there you go. I'm Anthony's World underscore Anthony's World underscore. This is. And then I'm Derek underscore Vandy. I love it. Make sure you're also following Trader Society official on Instagram and also tap that link in the bio and go check out our package. We have everything all inclusive. For just 125 bucks a month, three live sessions, signals, and ideas, and a community chat, and we're rolling. Let's get it. Let's roll. Peace. Peace.